good morning or i guess i should say good afternoon everybody it is 12 30 already hey i've gotten such a late start to this day it is it's one of those overcast days. You, you know these days for me. These are my favorite types of days, but not to do anything. <laughs> They're my days I like to snuggle up in my human cocoon, but we cannot do that today, everybody. <laughs> So I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning. It was usually my bathroom break in the middle of the night. And some nights I can go back to sleep and sometimes I can't. And this was one of those nights last night where I could not go back to sleep. And then I ended up getting hungry and I had these, wait, I still have these. It's like I had a brand new box of these that I hadn't opened, these pumpkin spice Cheerios. And so we're getting the Halloween slash fall season started, February y'all, although I think we, got started with our pumpkin spice whipped cream in January. So we're, we're already here, we've arrived, it's October basically. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I've had a hard time getting energy to do much of anything. I don't know who made up this, this mystical second trimester energy where they tell you that when you get into your second trimester of pregnancy, that you're gonna have all this energy to do all these things. Um, absolutely not i <laughs> don't know who made that up absolutely not not in my case i mean i can only speak for myself i know everyone's different but uh no no i the the each day that goes by like i want to nap more and more every day even though my brain definitely acknowledges that i have so much to do but my body is like <laughs> yeah right you know like no you're not doing it so anyways, I end up missing you guys and missing hanging out with you guys because I'm not doing anything but just trying to get the energy to get out of bed every day, basically. <laughs> so I figured the best way to get some stuff done, this is the one thing that always works for me, is when we can hang out and do it together. So I feel like y'all are my accountability partners. <laughs> I hope that's okay. Uh, you didn't really get the choice in the matter, but <laughs> here we are. So thank you in advance for helping me <laughs> get through my to-do list. So I need to go through my office and clean out my office. It's not the worst it's ever been, but I have a bunch of Halloween decorations that are on the floor that I got on Halloween clearance. I was gonna do a Halloween clearance haul. If you remember at the, like after Halloween, I ended up getting some sort of plague and it wasn't morning sickness. Some of you out there were like, I wonder if that's what you were sick with and you know, that kind of thing. But no, I actually just had to, whatever this was, I think it was like some sort of upper respiratory thing. Uh, I had to deal with that during my first trimester though. So it was a nightmare of a situation. By the time I got over whatever plague it was, it was, uh, so close to Thanksgiving and the holiday season and holiday hunting that I just ended up scrapping those videos. So I have a bunch of Halloween clearance stuff sitting in my office ready to be shown <laughs> in a haul and I just kind of left it there. So I guess I'm gonna end up doing a Halloween clearance haul <laughs> so you can see what I got. I just need to get the Halloween decorations put away and I might be using some of the stuff for my shower here coming up. I also need to go to Aldi, which I think we'll do tomorrow morning. I don't know what else is gonna do. Organize my office. Oh, we were gonna take down the Halloween tree. I know I just put it up and, or I feel like I just put it up and it's not even Valentine's day yet, but I'm kind of of the mind where I just, I just need to take it down. I'm over looking at it. Like I don't even wanna look at it anymore. <laughs> Does anyone else get like that? Are you just like, oh, I'm gonna leave it up for a little while. And then you hit the point where you're like, I cannot, if I have to look at that thing one more time, I just can't, I'm taking it down. That's where I'm at in my tree journey <laughs> right now. So I don't know, we have other stuff on our to-do list. We'll probably add to it along the way. But the main thing I wanna tackle today is my office. But we're just gonna be in our full on lounge wear situation today, which I'll show you a little bump date. Let me show you. Here's my little, I'll show you my bump how the progress is going, but it is, the bump is bumping everybody. It is getting bumpier. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna wear today, this whole black flowy soft ensemble that we got going on today. And this is actually from Tommy John, which this video, by the way, is sponsored by Tommy John. And I've talked about Tommy John before because I've talked about their sleepwear, their loungewear, uh, their underwear, all the wares. And I've talked about how soft they are, how comfortable they are. And I love that with Tommy John, comfort is at the core of everything they do. 
And with my Tommy John pajamas, the waistband, I had mentioned this before, was already super stretchy, didn't ride up. Everything was really lightweight. Everything I love in a good pair of pajamas. But now that I'm growing a whole human in here, my Tommy John pajamas are the only ones I've been reaching for because they're the only ones that still feel really comfortable in the waistband. They're kind of growing with me. And I got these new pants this time. I am obsessed with these. Like, I think I'm actually going to bring these to the hospital with me when I give birth because they're so comfortable. I'm obsessed with these pants. I cannot stop wearing them. I'll show you what they look like, but they are perfect for, you can sleep in them. You can lounge in them. You can get stuff done around the house in them. You can mix and match with other Tommy John pieces. They also just go with anything in your wardrobe. They're black, very flowy loungewear type of pants, that kind of multi-purpose piece that you know I love. Anyways, I also got this t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, which I'll show it tried on so you can see the whole picture of what everything looks like. And it's super soft, once again, stretchy, light. I also got a black tank top, once again, super soft, super light. And I got a black bra. Love all my Tommy John pieces, the quality, the softness, the comfort, everything. And I do have a discount offer for you guys. If you click my link down in the description, box and use my code jade the libra three you can get an exclusive 25 percent off plus free shipping over 75 dollars i also have all the products i tried on i'll have those linked as well but we're just going for comfort today i'm not gonna lie especially on this overcast day we're going for pure comfort um so we're gonna go up there and i guess do a halloween clearance haul everybody <laughs> all right so we've got our box here okay this thing this pillow has all these bats all over it. It's a velvet pillow with bats all over it. Got it from Target. Actually, I was thinking, I, I don't know what it's doing in here, but I was thinking that this might be a good pillow for the nursery slash uh, glider rocker. We're unsure what we're getting in that department right now, but uh, I feel like it would look good in the nursery. So, so I'm gonna go put it elsewhere for a second. What else do we get? Oh, I got this pumpkin thing from Joann's, this black and white striped pumpkin. I gotta reach for my stuff, cause I gotta wrap this guy. Got this during the Halloween clearance stuff, but I'm not gonna need this for a minute. Or maybe I will, I don't know. We're just gonna wrap it anyway. Sorry, Means. Means is so offended by the activities. We're getting somewhere already, everybody. <laughs> Last week, Means, little Means right here, she had she wasn't feeling well last week and she uh, ended up having a UTI, so a urinary tract infection, and she did not feel well at all. I got this stuff from Michael's. Uh, they had some of their bakeware, their spooky bakeware on sale. I got this spiderweb bunt cake. It's like a silicone bunt cake mold. I'm going to keep this out actually because we do our spooky baking all year round. So I'm going to put this in my kitchen. Uh, and then I got this one. This is one of those chocolate surprise things where you crack it open and it's a brain. So you put chocolate in there and you can break the chocolate open and it has a bunch of, you know, we should have done a Valentine's Day thing now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, also got from Joann's, got this spider web mug. Can't believe I forgot about this one from Joann's. This spider web mug. Love this black and white spider web mug. Once again, from Joann's. Next, what do we get? I think some of this stuff I just need to take downstairs in general. Like I have these napkins. I have some spider web napkins and some other spooky napkins, but I need to take those downstairs. And then a lot of, there's some more napkins. And a lot of floral stuff. Let me see. Oh, and a witch hat. <laughs> We could always just wear this. A lot of this stuff I've already shown. I also got this, I don't even remember where I got this, but also I don't remember if I showed it, but it's this cute little ice cube mold with all these little ghosties on it. Um, so, got that. All right, also I got this Happy Halloween sign. I almost forgot about this guy from Joann's. Thought this would be cute. Okay, if you saw the decorate with me in my kitchen, during Halloween season. If not, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, but I had, I decided, but I decided to decorate above my cabinet area and had a bunch of stuff up there. And I thought this sign would be super cute up there. And if not, we can find a million places for this. I just thought it was cute. It has a little ghosty on it. It says happy Halloween. You know, I couldn't resist. So got this. I have to put it, 
I have a separate bin, like it's kind of like a Christmas tree bin, like a really big one, that I put all my signs in, all my larger signs. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, here's my Grim Reaper guy. So I got this guy, I think I still have his box, but it may take up a lot of room, so. Also got this little spider mirror guy from Joann's once again. Spider mirror wall decor piece, but I might keep this out because I kind of want to put it somewhere, like all year round. We're supposed to be putting away decorations and here we are keeping everything out. <laughs> so cute, I forgot about this guy. Also from Joann's. So I got this little spider and the oblong spider. These little wall plaques, got these from Joann's. Also from Joann's, I got this guy, this framed skull piece and I don't know how I felt about the camo background it's a little <laughs> the way it's cut out and everything look at this DIY looking cut out here <laughs> um, and the whole camo background it looks like uh, but I liked the frame of this with the bat and everything and the skull so I might just paint it all and try to peel this stuff off and just paint it all black I don't know yet also got this guy from I think I got this one pumpkin with a fly on it got this from Ross and do I have any more things oh yeah I'm gonna wrap this lightly I ended up getting a bunch of Halloween floral on clearance just a bunch of these like this little mossy branchy situation this I don't know what this is but it looks spooky and some more branchy stuff. That moss is a mess. Moss in my crotch. It's moss crotch, everybody. <laughs> All right, what's next? I think we have a bunch of trash. This needs to go over here. We're getting somewhere, slowly but surely, everybody. Oh, look at this old Bath and Body Works bag. This old Halloween bag. Oh, it's so cute. I'm keeping this. These are my lashes I've been looking for. Lord, why am I this way? <laughs> oh, finally, I've been out of the Siren double lashes. And I'm obsessed with these Anthea Lura lights. Lashes from uh, House of Lashes. This random box of stuff. I don't even know, nothing. Random box of nothing. All right, where's this? I need a separate recycling thing. Another box, a box within a box. Within a box, where is my hair going? What's my hair doing? Trash. Always love it when I find my hair ties. Oh, so I have these guys, which I need to take downstairs. These, they're these crescent moon candle holders. They have like a candle holder inside. I got these from Joann's last year. But I'm gonna use these, I think, at my baby shower. So I'm gonna go take these downstairs and put them with my other shower stuff. Because I thought about putting, I can either put candles in there, or I thought about putting, like we're doing cookies, like individually packaged cookies for little party favors. So I thought about putting the cookies in here. I kind of, because it'll be, I don't know if this is food safe, but the cookies will be individually wrapped. So I thought this would be cute just to put the cookies in either one or anything that has like an individually wrapped, or we could do like little parchment paper or whatever. Uh, and donuts or something, because we're doing a, a brunch. But I thought these would be cute in my shower. I also got this makeup from ColourPop that I didn't get a chance to go through. Winx Club. Winx Club? I don't know. I, I don't know if I've heard of Winx Club. Am I out of the loop? Am I too old for this, everybody? <laughs> but it's really cute. They're like little fairies, I think. And this palette, though, the colors in this palette are so pretty. Love this. So I might have to do an Easter ween makeup look with this because look at all the pastels in there. I feel like we could do something fun with that. Maybe like a black lipstick look with some pastels. Like a pastel goth vibe. I'll find what I can from this collection and I'll link it in the view products little area. It's over here I believe in the bottom corner. And it says view products. If you click that, it'll have a drop down if you're on your phone. On your computer, it'll be to the side of the screen. Look at these cute little bedazzlements too that they sent. This is like a whole Claire's or icing throwback if you know, you know. Oh, some glitter, glitter gel. 
it's like a jelly glitter. Whatever I don't use of this, you know who would love this stuff? My nieces. They would love this glitter jelly. Maybe, oh my gosh, you know what it smells like? It smells like that roll-on glitter. Like, I don't know why I'm getting all this nostalgia all of a sudden. Anyways, uh, it's glitter gel. I gave them, I gave them a bunch of makeup. Oh, I think it was for Christmas or one of their birthdays or something. And my brother set this whole video of my nieces getting in trouble because they were digging into the makeup when they, like, I think they're supposed to ask when they get into their makeup. One of the girls had drawn on a unibrow and they had this dark purple lipstick. It was so funny. Okay. Anyways, I think this is a highlighter stick, which I'm definitely keeping this because I love, first of all, I love the ColourPop highlighters, but I've been looking for a good highlighter stick and this is my perfect shade. It's like a silvery, but it's a really pretty silverish, really good for us pale ghouls out there, which it's hard to find a good highlighter that's not too gold or pink or bronzy. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe not but this one's really pretty. I'm so excited. I wish I could get a better visual, but it's not really capturing the magic. What was the shade? What was it called? Icy. That makes sense. Looks like some lip glosses, maybe. I love it that we're just doing a full unboxing at this point. <laughs> this was not planned. I, I mean, I guess this was sent to me, but I'm not being paid to show you any of this stuff. It's just, I don't even remember when I got this. What, these are so fun. These lip glosses, all these glittery lip glosses and all these different colors. Moving on, now that we got distracted per usual. Anyone else out there when you're cleaning, get distracted and you're like, ooh, let me go through this or I wanna do this. Yeah, that's me. Anyways, we're back on track though, here we go. I gotta cut my trash bag, start taking this out. Take some of this stuff down and then I'm gonna rest a little bit and then we'll see how I feel, but I might just work on editing this and then we'll come back and vacuum tomorrow. Here's this. I don't know why I brought my battery pack. I'm not gonna need that. Here we go. Lord. Whoo! Oh, here we go. Hey everyone, it is another day in 2023 paradise. <laughs> I cannot wait till I get to say, it's another day Halloween decor hunting. I cannot wait. Uh, Mr. Skeleton isn't with us today. Because if you watch the Halloween tree video, uh, he kind of used Mr. Skeleton as a decoration this year, which we're hoping to take down that tree sometime. It's on our to-do list. So we'll get there eventually. So right now we're headed to Aldi. We're gonna pick up a couple groceries. I don't need a whole lot. I just really, I don't know. I've been craving these fajita bowls. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm even talking about, but it sounds delicious. That's, that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, and I desperately need to get clementines because I, I've been very vocal about my extreme obsession and out of control cravings for clementines. And my mouth is watering just talking about it. <laughs> um, and we went to Costco the other day and their clementines were brown, like half the bag was brown and they kind of had that stench to them. You know what I'm talking about? That kind of rotten citrus stench to them. And my cravings though are so bad that I contemplated buying them even though they were clearly rotten. And I was like, they're literally brown. And I'm like, I know, but I need them. I like can just taste them right now. I don't know what it is. A lot of people say that you crave what you need, like the nutrients you need but it's anything really that's like juicy like that. Like it's a whole sensory experience. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not going to miss. Oh gosh, Aldi is all people-y today. No, I was hoping to avoid the people. Uh, anyways, I'm not gonna miss the complete lack of energy, but I am gonna miss how all the food tastes. Like food tastes so good, especially anything I'm craving. It tastes so good, like unbelievable, unlike anything I've ever tasted in my life. I feel like it's a superpower or something. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna miss tasting all the taste after this gremlin comes out. But anyways, where's my quarter? That's what I'm looking for. I don't know what, where I was going with any of this, that we're going to all the... And then I got on some tangent, oh, about clementines. Where's a quarter? Dang it. We were supposed to go to Aldi yesterday, but we had this surprise snowstorm that came out of literally nowhere. 
Uh, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning once again because that's my official snack time. And I came downstairs and I looked outside and it was a full blown snowstorm, like four inches of snow. No one was prepared. The roads weren't prepared or salted or anything. So apparently the roads were horrible. I wasn't getting out on them. So I just spent my whole day editing in my pajamas yesterday. It was really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so now though, we're at Aldi and we have to go face the people and we're just not in the mood today, but we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna, we're gonna stay positive, as Neens would say, positive, get it? <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, we just gotta grab a couple things, so. In and out, in and out, Jade. You can do this. I gotta give myself a pep talk before I go in there. <laughs> Here we go. That was extra people-y. <laughs> forgot as I was in Aldi, I totally forgot I'm going to my dad's to watch the Chiefs game. Well, the Super Bowl. Dallas and I are gonna take Neens over there. And I, so I had to call my dad and see if he wanted me to bring anything. So I'm bringing a veggie tray, everybody. That is done though. We got the remainder of our groceries and I feel like I forgot something, but I'll figure that out later and be totally bummed about it. But I made a list, I checked it twice, <laughs> but now I'm going home to take a nap because that was more than I can handle in a day. Just kidding, I got a lot of stuff to do. Anyways, we're gonna go home and I'm gonna show you what I got at Aldi and we'll do a little grocery haul. Really quick grocery haul, got some green onions, some celery for our veggie tray. I got this Mexicali dip also for the Super Bowl. Uh, this stuff is so good. Anytime I have anywhere to go, like I'm bringing something or I'm having people over, I get this stuff. It's so good. And I got some shredded Parmesan, some of this gluten-free granola, bananas, some gluten-free Oreos, my favorite. They've got some gluten-free pasta on sale. This isn't my favorite, but it's not my least favorite. It's actually pretty decent. Um, I got two of the spirals and then one of the penne pasta looking situations. And you know I had to get this. The Clancy's Dill Pickle Popcorn. This is one of my favorites every single year. It's seasonal. So they get it for a short period of time and then it's gone. But I look forward to it every year. I'm so excited. So good. I got my clementines, y'all. You know I did. And some corn tortillas. Lemons. These are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, peppers for fajita bowls and limes. I also got some cheese curds, some garlic cheddar cheese curds for the Super Bowl little party thing. Or, and then I got these bite-sized potatoes, some carrots, and uh, some jasmine rice. Uh, black beans. I got two cans of their black beans. Some cilantro, jalapenos. Red onions, yellow onions, a couple of cheeses. All right, so we checked all the off the list. One more thing we got done. We still need to vacuum the office. I don't know if we're doing that today or if I'm gonna work on editing today and do it tomorrow, but I'll see ya when I see ya. Hey everyone, it is another day, another comfy human cocoon outfit. Got my uh, potentially coming soon to HO7S sweatsuit on. I figured I'd do a little bump date. I don't know if you can see it in this human cocoon of a situation, but, but I feel like the belly really popped this week. I'm really excited about it. So we're gonna take down our Halloween tree. That's what we're doing today. And I'm adding something to our to-do list today. Uh, we're gonna make a whole veggie tray situation because I'm taking a veggie tray over to my dad's house tonight for the Super Bowl. But for now, we're taking down the Halloween tree. It is time. I know it's not even Valentine's Day yet, but it's time. <laughs> we're taking it down. I don't really know what I'm doing with all these Valentine's decorations, like what bin I'm putting them in. 
And one of you mentioned something about uh, how you wish they had the, why can't I get this out? Uh, how you wish they had pink totes, you know, the big tote bins. They, they have different seasonal colors. They have orange for Halloween and red and green for Christmas time. And how we wish they had pink for Valentine's. Well, I haven't seen pink ones. Maybe they do. If they do, let me know in the comments because I gotta find some. Okay, Mr. Skeleton, let's get you out of here, sir, so you don't fall over. It was fun while it lasted. Here we go. Get your full Angie's out of the way. Uh, it was so funny because the other day my nieces came over and they were dropping off some Girl Scout cookies. And I had all these pink glittery heart ornaments I didn't put up. So I had my nieces help me put them on the tree and they were so excited. It was so cute. So what are you up to? What's going on? How did you spend your weekend? Did you do anything exciting? So yesterday Dallas and I binge watched you, the new season of you. We finished part one. And I don't know, did you guys watch it? Did you watch to let me know your thoughts down in the comments? Don't worry, I won't give away any spoilers. It was just a lot of new characters, I think is what threw me. And a lot of them were not very interesting. And I felt like the way they kind of tied in last season was like they were trying to tie the storyline together to make it make sense. And I just felt like it was a little sloppy and just didn't make sense. And part one may have just been a way to introduce new characters or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not going to jab my jaws about a whole in-depth review. <laughs> but anyways, if you watched it, let me know what you thought because I was a little underwhelmed. To me, I'm like, if you're going to throw away a season, then just cancel the show because I feel like Netflix does it a lot anyways. And then just give me another season of Mindhunter or Santa Clarita Diet. If you saw that show, Santa Clarita Diet, they just ended it. Like, in, like uh, it, there was a huge cliffhanger and then it was over. It wasn't coming back. Like, it killed me. What are we doing? Oh, trying to get this together. I feel like it was just yesterday we put this thing up too. 2023 is already slipping away, everybody. I'm excited because before you know it, we'll be out on the hunt. We'll be able to see what Halloween has in store for us this year. Hey, babe. What? When you get a second, do you think you can help me bring up the uh, Christmas tree box? Yeah, the big Christmas tree box. This is the least fun, but here we are. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to crouch. We're on the ground. If we get back up, that is to be determined. And I'm pretty sure my entire butt crack is showing right now, but the good news is the camera is not at that angle. So I can save you from being traumatized. Can't believe it. Every time I'm like, I'm almost done. There's another freaking branch, everybody. Whew. The whole workout. I'm gonna need a pickle after this. There we go. Put this here. The last uh, what's happening down here? Uh, wait, how does this not fit? What? Oh, wait, there we go. Pull our pants up. Here we are. We might store our Valentine stuff. Put this here. Next holiday we decorate for after Christmas is Halloween, so it'll all be in one place. That's fine by me. Don't worry, I'm not lifting anything. All right, we're gonna vacuum up all these little needles or whatever you call them, I don't know. Whatever we're shedding off the tree. And I got, oh, I forgot to show you guys. I got a new handy dandy Dyson, everybody. My new precious. <laughs> got this during Black Friday and I totally have forgotten to mention it. It has changed my life again. I still have my other one that we use in the kitchen, but this one we use mainly upstairs or when we need a serious pickup because this one has more power. If you're wanting to know which model I got, I'll link it in the view products area in the lower corner. I think it's the lower left hand corner. I'll have this linked in there, but you know I'm loving my new handy dandy Dyson because I've been obsessed for years, especially during the deep cleaning season. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this. You hear that everybody? 
all this hard work calls for a good old pickle break, everybody. And if you hear noise upstairs, it's because Dallas is vacuuming upstairs. We're both obsessed with that freaking Dyson to the point where we get so excited to vacuum. <laughs> We're gonna have a cloth center too, everybody. My mouth is already watering. Listening to the sound of the Dyson humming and eating a pickle. It really is another day in 2023 paradise, everybody. <laughs> the only thing that can make this better is a Baja Blast. All right, so we only have a couple more things to do. We're gonna have one more pickle. We gotta vacuum my office. We cleaned it out the other day. And we gotta make our veggie tray. We're gonna go in full on pregnancy style on this guy. We're gonna have a gluten-free Oreo because we got a sweet tooth now. Gremlin wants what it wants and it's before midnight. So I feel like we're already, <laughs> if you know, you know. Mm. Pickles and Oreo. Oh man, this tastes so good. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just want my taste buds to be pregnant forever. Mmm. This tastes so good. Mmm. All right, should we take a nap first? All right, we're back in my... All right, Speed Racer, we hear ya. I feel like the old lady in the neighborhood where I'm like, get off my lawn! Uh, we're back in the office. I'm getting some of my lights out of the way. I'm just gonna move them into the hallway so we can vacuum in here. It just feels good to get the stuff done that I've been wanting to get out of the way. Uh, I mean, I've been doing like, you know, everyday stuff I do, you know, like laundry or cleaning or whatever, which I have a bunch of cleaning videos coming. But this kind of stuff I've been putting off for way too long. What is she doing? You wanna come in here, mom? You wanna come sit in the chair? You're not gonna like it because you don't like the vacuum. My handy dandy Dyson. I bet I can compete with that car by revving up my dice. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna bring in, bring back all my stuff. I'm gonna put my ring light here for now so it's not just in the middle of the room. Getting tripped over. I have my plant there. Oh, there's my plant. chair with means his little bed in there and I think that's it for this room we still have to make our veggie tray but I think we're done cleaning in here all right hey everyone we're back and we're putting together a little veggie tray situation for our little Super Bowl get together at my dad's we have a bunch of vegetables I rinsed off wait I'm gonna put my got my bowl that goes in here then I'm gonna put ranch dip in I'm gonna make a just Sriracha ranch. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just sriracha with ranch. So some broccoli. I want it nice and colorful. Here's some peppers. Trying to break up the green and the colorful. So we'll do some celery. Gosh, that's a lot of celery. <laughs> My bad. Oh, we have to be able to cover this with something. So we're just not gonna let it free ball. Baby carrots. More baby carrots. This is going way faster than I thought it was gonna go. Cucumbers. Oh gosh. I'll just do some cucumbers. I'll just finish these up. I'd already cut these up. Some cherry tomatoes. Oh, this is the perfect amount. Look at that veggie tray right there. This I'm going to cover separately. Let me. It looks so good, everybody. I got to have a little pepper. Some good old ranch. I'll fill this baby up. All right, so I'm going to put in a bunch of sriracha. Maybe we went a little overboard with the sriracha. I hope not. If. So we can, I don't think so though. That's a lot of ranch, right? Let's try this with some broccoli. I could sit here and eat this whole thing. All right, and then we'll put some foil over the big daddy, this guy, and put it in the fridge until we're ready. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. We finished our to-do list. We cleaned out my office. We went to Aldi. We got that Halloween slash Christmas tree down and we made our snacks. We're gonna head over to my dad's and 
enjoy what's left of the weekend. I appreciate you holding me accountable <laughs> and helping me get stuff done this week. All the things that I really needed to get done, but was putting off. So thank you for being here and hanging out and getting things done with me. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, let me know anything you've been up to, anything on your to-do list that you've been putting off. Or if you want to talk about, I don't know, anything we talked about in this video or uh, what you did this past weekend, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.